So if you're going to talk about coffee, Black Rifle Coffee Company. If you're in Savannah, Georgia, you got to stop, check it out. This is it. Today we're going to really talk about one particular type of Java, right? Black Rifle Coffee. And if you know anything about Black Rifle Coffee, you know it's sort of sweeping the nation. So what's the deal with Black Rifle Coffee? Well, number one, it's a veteran-owned company, right? Serving premium coffee to people who live across America and probably will expand at some point into the future, right? It has a, a very unique roasting process and it's very entrepreneurial. Matter of fact, last year when we were in Sturgis, we saw it there. When I was coming back on Interstate 95 in Savannah, we stopped, there was another location, we went in and checked it out, and you'll see some pictures. Um, they really roast high quality coffee beans from Colombia, from Brazil, and they're really into quality, and they're really into veterans, right? So if you're a veteran, you should really support them. And really, if you're just about America, it's a great coffee company. So we're gonna do a little expose on them, because hey, it's a great way to start this vlog. So what's the deal with coffee? Coffee has a unique place in our culture, right? People love coffee. Um, it's everywhere. And before I ever moved out to Seattle, I always thought coffee was more like Folgers and that was pretty much it. I called it gas station coffee and you just kind of did it You've got your paid your 50 cents or a buck. You got your coffee. You kind of sucked it down. If you're out camping, it was even stronger. The whole idea that there could be gourmet coffee, right, was foreign to me. But when I got out to Seattle, I explored all the places and it seems like every corner has a coffee shop and a lot of places roast their coffee beans. And that's when I started to learn that there's a difference in the bean, right? No matter where the beans come from, if you overcook them, right, and you kind of get that burnt flavor, you're like Starbucks. If you kind of undercook them more on the greenish side, they have a different flavor. So each type of bean, the way it's roasted, really makes a difference in the flavor and where those beans come from, right? So if the beans come from Hawaii, if the beans come from Nicaragua, if they come from South America, right? Different places have different kinds of beans, but it's really important. The bean makes the coffee. Also, the grind makes the coffee, right? If you grind it really fine, if you grind it really rough. So it does make a difference. So what's the deal with Black Rifle Coffee? Well, they have a really good product. They have a dark roast, a medium roast, and they kind of go into a light roast too. You can get it in a K-cup. Matter of fact, that's what I just got. I got the Freedom Roast, which is more like a medium blend, and that's this, right? Freedom Roast for the K-rig because I'm basically lazy in my office. But when I'm home, I do it, I grind my own beans, I do everything, and I make lattes there. So that makes a big difference. So depending on how you're preparing the coffee will depend on what you use. But here in my office, we use the K-Cup. So it's a good coffee company. So look, if you think this coffee is good, you should try it. You can subscribe, you can get it delivered. It's pretty much everywhere now. You can find it on Amazon. You can go to right to Black Rifle's website and get it coming regularly. And if you think this video was good, like it, 